His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudebia Palace today several members of the royal family and state officials. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahraini society's love for social and voluntary action as part of its religion and traditions. He expressed pride in the effective voluntary contributions of Bahraini women locally and regionally, pointing out women's role as an effective element that has made numerous achievements in the political, economic and social aspects. The Prime Minister hailed the role of commercial families and the accomplishment of women in leading family companies and reinforcing contribution in the economic system. His Royal Highness also highlighted the achievements of the Kingdom thanks to the people who are always keen to achieve the best interests of their homeland. Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organization, RCO, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today with a number of Arab ambassadors to Bahrain, led by Dean of Diplomatic Corps and Kuwait's Ambassador Sheikh Azam Al Mubarak Al Sabah. His Highness Sheikh Nasser thanked the ambassadors for their visit to the RCO, which reflects their appreciation for the charity work conducted by the organization. He said that RCO has been able to accomplish many local and international achievements by the volume of humanitarian aid to needy people in the world and ease their suffering from conflicts, wars and natural disasters. RCO General Secretary Dr. Mustafa Al Sayed briefed the audience on the history of the organization and its charity work, in addition to the initiatives of His Majesty the King to expand beneficiary categories. On behalf of the audience, Kuwait Ambassador Sheikh Azam and Mubarak Al Sabah commended the efforts of His Majesty the King in supporting humanitarian work and aiding those in need both inside Bahrain and abroad. He also praised His Highness Sheikh Nasser's efforts in managing the RCO and his support to developmental charity projects in many countries in need.
first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of West Asian Athletics Association and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion of the victory of Bahrain's Yunus Kirwa in Japan's Nagoya Women's Marathon. He also congratulated His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid confirmed that the achievement reflects Bahrain's excellence in marathons and the sports field in general, commending runner Yunus's efforts which qualified her to win and represent Bahrain in various sports functions. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, affirmed the importance of Bahrain's KHK MMA team participating in the 21st Desert Force Championship, which will be held tomorrow in Al Hussein Sports City in Jordan, in order to enhance Bahrain's position between various countries on the international and youth levels. His Highness said the participation of Bahraini fighter Hamza al Kohiji in this championship affirms Bahrain's keenness to achieve the high results in this field. It is a very exciting matchup. Uh, we had uh, the first opponent pull out. We had a change of uh, date. We had a change of venue. So it was a very eventful uh, two to three weeks for Hamza and for KHK. But here we are. It's all over. We, we have uh, an opponent and uh, they made weight and it's time to fight. So uh, I think it, it, it's tough for both the fighters. But I think uh, Hamza has an advantage of uh, preparing for a five-round five fight, so uh, he's ready to go. Three-round fight will be a piece of cake for him. For everything, and we was preparing for five rounds, and they changed this fight to three rounds, so we are more than ready now. It doesn't matter, because Hamza is ready. Most important, if Hamza is ready, he can fight uh, in anybody. So. It was tough opponent, Aziz, uh, Julidan. Now they give also tough opponent, not easy opponent. This guy also have 3-0 record. Hamza have 3-0 re record. And tomorrow one of them will have first lose. The Shura Council, chaired by Speaker Ali Al Saleh, held its weekly session today, during which it issued a statement expressing pride in Bahrain's participation in North Thunder military manoeuvres which aim to preserve regional security, face challenges and deal with terrorist organizations. The Council also approved a decree by law regarding commercial register law and agreed to hold further deliberation on removing a provision of the penalties law during the next session. Bahrain Defence Force combat troops and Royal Bahrain Air Force planes returned to Bahrain from Saudi Arabia after taking part in the North Thunder military drill, which is considered one of the largest exercises in the history of the region. Twenty Arab and Islamic countries took part in the drill held in King Khalid military city at Haft al Batan in the north of Saudi Arabia. Bahrain's participation in the drill comes in line with the directives of His Majesty the King to reinforce joint cooperation and coordination with Gulf Arab and Islamic countries and contribute in achieving desired integration among them. This is in addition to consolidating military cooperation with the participating countries and enhancing combat readiness as well as training the troops on modern tactics and gaining more experience from the, from the field exercises. Bahrain's troops performed an effective role which reflects their efficiency in executing the demands of all phases of North Thunder maneuvers alongside Gulf Cooperation Council, member states and Arab Islamic countries. 
A joint GCC Naval Exercise Union 18 was launched today with the participation of the Royal Bahrain Navy alongside GCC Arab and Naval Forces. The exercise aims to exchange the military expertise and raise military efficiency and combat readiness to meet the requirements of the joint military action which parallels the remarkable military cooperation and coordination between GCC countries. Bahrain is ranked third in the 2016 poll of the best country in the world in which expatriates prefer to live in, following Singapore and New Zealand, according to a survey conducted by the Hong Kong Shanghai Bank in cooperation HSBC. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain has always been known for its peaceful environment and welcoming people, which is the reason behind topping the world countries in attracting expatriates, according to the Expat Explorer Survey. The survey, conducted by the Hong Kong and Shanghai Bank, is one of the largest independent global expat surveys that focuses on the expat's lifestyle, especially the level of ease or difficulty in which expats can set up in the country, how well they integrate into the local community, and their overall quality of life. 66% of expatriates covered in the survey affirmed that they were very happy to live in Bahrain for many reasons, asserting that the kingdom is an open country and that its people is modest and it's easy to deal with Bahrainis and make friendships with them. Dr. Amy Bazailo, the first chiropractor in Bahrain, and her husband Mike Cunningham from Canada affirmed that they feel at home here. Bahrain is actually my favorite place. It's um, the people here are very warm and welcoming. And as an expat, I don't feel like an outsider here. This feels like my home and it's treated. You're treated as if it's your home as well. I just find it just such a friendly place to be. It's very much it feels like home. It is our home. Um, the people here are friendly. Um, I work with Bahrainis, I spend time with Bahrainis. You don't feel as an expat that you are separated from the people that actually live here and it's so much fun to be here, there's so much going on, it's a great place to live. The survey added that Bahrain is the world's most attractive country for other nationality and also for its business-friendly environment, welcoming society and coexistence of its citizens and residents within a secure and tolerant atmosphere. It's much more easy to room around here, take um, take street photography, do street photography on the street, less restrictions, people are extremely, extremely um, uh, helpful and uh, very welcoming. So I love this place and, um, um, and, 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 and I work for a bank here, so, so Bahrain is a banking hub in the region. So there is no, I don't see any reason for me to stay, to move out of the Bahrain in the near future. Indeed. Openness has been a distinctive feature of the Bahraini society throughout history and has been consolidated thanks to the leadership directives to promote the kingdom into regional financial, business, trade and tourism hub. According to the survey, Bahrain is an easy and stable choice for expats, offering a smooth transition and a warm welcome.